guys, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media, and today I'm bringing you a video. We are going to be working on the 2019 F-150 today. Um, we are going to be installing some goodies right here. As you can see, this is the Corsa Catback exhaust for the 2019 F-150. Uh, I did order the, uh, there's another piece that's not here. It is the resonator delete section. Uh, that part, though, however, through Lethal is um, on back order. Uh, I do pretty much all of my business with Lethal. I usually work through Logan, so shout out to Logan. Thank you. Um, but this piece did come, so what we're going to do is go ahead and install this on the truck. And then when the resonator piece comes in, we'll have to just modify and remove the, the muffler and put the resonator delete piece in. Um, he didn't know exactly how long the back order was. He thought probably July sometime, so it shouldn't be too long. But uh, I figured we could go ahead and install this. So, yeah, so stay tuned. And we're going to start the installation here in, in just a few. All right, guys, welcome back. So here we are. We are under the truck. And per the instructions, here is, this is the stock resonator. And there is the exhaust line running back to the muffler. So, per the instructions, first thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen this clamp right here on this, uh, just before the resonator here. Bear with me for a minute. Let me get my ratchet set up. All right. So, in order to do this, we're going to put our ratchet up here. All right, that's plenty loose. And now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna slide up here, slide our light, slide our tools. And next thing we're gonna do is there's two, bear with me, there's two bolts on this collector right here. You can probably see right there and there. And if you can see on the back side, there's actually not a nut. The back side of the um, slip flange here is actually just threaded. So we don't have to worry about putting anything on the other side. So it says to go ahead and just loosen them, uh, but don't remove them. So we're going to swap out our socket on our electric ratchet here, which these things are amazing. You guys don't have one yet. I highly recommend it. They work really well. Um, you don't have to worry about air. Air at times is nice, but at other times it is a pain in the butt. So, and the great thing about these ratchets is when it's, when a bolt's tight and you can't actually use the electric motor yet to loosen it, you can actually use it as a wrench. So I can put this up here, ratchet it by hand like this, and get it loose. And we'll go to the other side. You always want to loosen and tighten your bolts evenly on just about anything you're doing on, on a vehicle. And then we'll go back to the other side. Like that. And then once you get it to a point where you think the motor can do it, then you just hit the button. And we're not going to remove it. We're just going to run it out like that. Make sure you're on the head. There you go. And if it's not quite there yet, then you can just keep ratcheting it by hand until it is. Okay, I'm trying it. It's not quite there. There we go. All right, we're going to leave it right there. So that's good and loose. So on to the next step. All right, guys. So the next step that the instructions tell you to do is you basically have to rotate the resonator. And I'm going to try to show you here if I can get some light up to you. So, there's a little tab. Let's see if I can get my light up in there. You may be able to see it up there. So there's a little round, looks like a little bolt head, and there's a notch in the little area. So you have to rotate the resonator assembly, which is this piece here. This is loose. Now that we've taken these out up here, you have to rotate this whole thing so that that bolt 
lines up in that notch. That's what lets them separate. Now for me, it tells you the instructions not to remove this bolt that was in this clamp here. But for me, I couldn't get it to rotate enough um, without. So I just took out one side. And this is a fairly common slip flange here for exhaust. I didn't really see a problem with going ahead and just removing uh, removing the one side. So the other bolt's still in. This one's not though, but that'll pivot right back up and in place. No problem. Um, so yeah, so if you may need to do that if you're doing this at home or whatever, not a big deal. So that's where we're at. So we're now rotated here. We're lined up with our notch. So that means that this slip joint here can now can now separate. I know it's pretty dark. Sorry guys. So on to the next step. All right guys, we're back and this is, uh, we're back to the installation piece. And as you can see here, this is pretty much done. Um, so where we left off last, I had pulled everything apart and I was just waiting to pull the stock stuff down. Uh, once my buddy Chris showed up, we went ahead and pulled the stock stuff down. And we went ahead, uh, it was just so much easier to do off camera because installing is never as easy as removal. Um, but basically it was just the same steps as removal was. We uh, put the new muffler back up and in. This is the Corsa muffler here. We connected back our flange here. We connected our clamp here. And then connected this pipe to the back of the muffler way back there in the back. And the new pipe goes up and over the axle. And basically once we had all those slip joints put together, we just put the clamp on, uh, torque the clamps back down, tighten the flange bolts back up here at the front, and everything is good to go. And then I'll show you the back. Once those pieces are done, then you just put on the uh, tip. And there they are. And this is the Corsa. Technically right now it's the sport because we still have that resonator piece in there. Once I decide if I like how loud it is, uh, I will either wait on the resonator piece to swap that out and have it be the extreme. If I like the way it sounds without it, I may just cancel that piece and just roll with the sport sound. So we're about to find out here in just a few minutes. We're just going to fire it up and see how it sounds. All right, here we go, guys. This is first start. Not bad, not bad. I like it. You want to give it just a just a little rev? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. All right, next is the first drive. All right, here we are, going for the first drive. It's definitely muted. It's definitely pretty muted. But I think a lot of that is in the cabin. Outside, I'll bet you you can probably still hear it a little bit. But it is definitely, it's muted enough that I probably would rather have the extreme, I think. Because of that, even with the windows down, you can barely hear it. Okay, so that's good to know. So when the, I'll probably keep the middle intermediate piece then. And when that comes in, we'll have to swap out the... From a, from a the, cab perspective, it almost makes it sound like an EcoBoost. You know, yeah, you can hear it. I mean, it's got a rumble. True. It's just not. True. It's just not super loud.
Hey everybody, so we're back. And so that was the installation of the exhaust system on the 2019 F-150. Uh, sorry I didn't get to show you uh, all of the installation, but it's a little hard to do the camera and to uh, pick up the exhaust and move things around and mount things. Just it, You don't have enough hands to do it all. So, but the installation was the same as the uninstallation of the stock stuff. Um, I did take it on the little drive, which you saw and you heard. And I do think after driving it, I've decided I am going to go ahead and wait on the uh, resonator delete pipe when it shows up. It is on back order. When it shows up, I am going to go ahead and install it. It does sound good. I do like the way it sounds, obviously, because it is Corsa, but it could be a little bit louder. Uh, I do feel like the resonator delete will help with that. So once that happens, hopefully sometime in the next month, that's what I'm being told, um, I will do an update and we'll do a, a fresh video of that of that tr of the truck running with the intermediate pipe deleted. All right, with that being said, thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you later.